Good afternoon. And thank you for inviting me today to this incredibly important discussion about mental health. And I really want to thank the Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health and of course Dr. Jonathan Sharon for not only hosting this event, but bringing innovation and a fresh approach. I am also very excited and want to thank Congressman Patrick Kennedy for joining us today and in, in invigorating this discussion. And of course, Mayor Daryl Steinberg, Mr. Prop 63, my senator, our principal vanguard of mental health, and the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors, the stewards and champions of health and mental health, for contributing their expertise on, these, on this issue. You know, I've been in office for a little over two years now. But over a de decade before that, I worked in mental health. First as deputy to LA County Supervisor Yvonne Burke, then at the largest mental health hospital in Los Angeles, Kettering Community Mental Health Center. That is the largest community hospital. <laughs> and that is the largest community hospital because it's second only to the largest mental health hospital, which is Twin Towers Prison. It says a lot about our city, our nation, and our society, how we approach mental illness, that those afflicted with mental, illness, mental health challenges are more, more likely to get treated when they get locked up. Now that I work to represent the 4th Council District in Los Angeles, like many of you here, much of my time is spent on the homeless crisis. For Los Angeles, this is the issue of our time. And for any American city, housing and poverty remain critical priorities that must be addressed. But the homeless issue is a mental health issue. Conservatively, 30% of the homeless population in Los Angeles are diagnosed mentally ill and or are substance abusers. And it is estimated that another 30% is undiagnosed. We must, and we have already begun, to address homelessness and poverty in Los Angeles and across America. But we cannot fix what we can't see. And until we recognize the critical importance of mental well-being, we will not be able to address the, the problem and crisis of homelessness. So today, we face this multifaceted problem with a multi-pronged approach. But to just focus on just one root cause, we must stop relying on incarcerations to solve our problems. Today in California, it costs more to put someone in prison than send them to a year of Harvard or even locally USC. We must all ask ourselves, what are our priorities? And what kind of future are we trying to build? This is why I'm launching a college savings account program in the city of Los Angeles so that every child in Los Angeles, regardless of income, status, or zip code, can be given the tools to pursue their dreams. And finally, make higher education possible for everyone. So I want to thank you all for having me, and let's keep the movement going. Thank you very much.